are team trends, how do we ensure that health promotion and preventative medical campaigns correlate with what's affecting our communities right now and are up to date with emerging risk factors that need to be combated? This is vital, but we have a problem. Our problem is, is that the data we are using isn't quick enough to inform us to make rapid decisions on what we need to tackle. Currently, the data we're using is from 2021 on current public health issues. The most recent example we have of this is vaping. You know, I know, I think everyone knows that this is something that rapidly emerged in the school population. Another example is nitrous oxide or balloons. But the data we're using is two years behind. This is too slow to influence you, as we don't want to miss our opportunity to intervene early and stop habits before they're established. Without acting early, these groups can age out of the school system, making it more difficult to follow up. So this leads <coughs> us to teen trends. Uh, so this is rapid turnover of surveys using our automated tool Turbo to collect invaluable data that can help inform public health promotion. So out of uh, our proposal is we would do surveys in schools comprising of 20 questions with sections on demographics, influences, protective factors and access. In our focus groups we know that teachers are the first point of contact, GPs are the first point of contact, Parents are the first point of contact within the community and they're important to design our questions and um, inform us on what is currently going on on ground. With our automated tool Turbo, we plan on having surveys implemented in schools such as their PSHE lessons using a 15 minute survey that they fill in and then it's scanned onto our platform in order to form data that is automatically correlated onto our dashboard and then form data that can be accessed by the teachers, by GPs, and by public health. So how does this, this work? What, what's the cycle that we have here? Um, this is, the whole point of this is that it's a cycle. It, it goes round and round, we iterate um, and, and see what's going on. Um, but if we start in the top left, um, we've got a focus group that's already been mentioned, teachers, GPs, parents, designing uh, core cool questions for the next term, um, and adding questions to, to the question bank that teachers can select locally. That, that gets entered into the Teen Trends platform. A teacher's notified um, of their school that uh, uh, they formed for the new term already. The teacher can log into the platform, receive uh, the form with the core cool questions, and can optionally add some things that are suitable for their local context. Again, print out the survey and give it to the class or, or via a link. Scan the response. The responses are then collated and um, uh, automated kind of quick and dirty charts are produced at the school area and national level and then those are delivered through the Team Trends dashboard. That's simple, simple analysis, um, but the idea of that is that can happen quickly on an attorney cycle to inform kind of tactical actions that can be taken at the school level, the area level and the national level and then the next time it all goes all the way around again uh, and pick up what's going on. Um. So we just wanted to sort of show you what the landing page will look like whilst we're developing um, the back end. Um, so as you can see, Team Trends is a rapid lightweight monitoring um, amongst teenagers for swift and tactical actions. You'll get fast automated reports um, which are generated by our automated tool. Um, so if you just scroll down, so you'll get a simple intuitive dashboard that will have all the reports that you can compare your school's data with um, national data as well. So this is just telling you how it works in a more um, pictured manner. So one example of the dashboard that we can have, we can have a dashboard uh, really simple at the school level in order for the school to be able to uh, take um, tactical actions and we have also a dashboard beyond a level to see how the schools compare within each other. So we're sustainable because we're running surveys on a termly cycle, inclusive because our focus groups will include diverse individuals from the target community, accessible because they're being implemented in all schools, and this format lends itself to modifications like braille, large print, and flexible, we can modify and add questions quickly, maintaining relevance. So we've thought a great bit about how we can get team trends into action. Um, I don't think we have time to go through all of this, um, but we want to talk more to our users explore funding options, develop
develop a business case and approach existing platforms. Because importantly, surveys already exist in schools. We're already collecting this data, um, but we're collecting it too slowly. We need a, an additional thing to do kind of the tactical side of things. We've also thought about risks. I don't think we have time to go into that in detail. Um, yeah. Medicine for you, not for your doctor's <laughs> Well, thanks, right. Any questions, panel members? Any questions? Yeah? You, you mentioned at the end a good point that there's a lot of surveys going on at the moment. So I'm curious what you think is the clear kind of the IP or the USP you have here. So is it the questions that you guys are, the process of formulating the questions? Is it the data? Is it the visualization of the data? Or is it, is it something else or a combination? Uh, the key thing here is the speed. Um, I, I just speak kind of that kind of rapid cycle. We've got data for strategic planning, but that's too slow for um, the kind of the trends that come up. Vaping being, being a great example, but the next thing won't be vaping, it'll be something else a month. Okay, so that's really our, our big thing. Yeah. So, and also social issues, everything's moving so much faster than we can collect data for. The current surveys are run on a yearly basis, so we're trying to create something that will be able to be implemented much quicker as well. Okay, uh, social prescribing metaverse. Social prescribing metaverse, you're next. So, if there are any other questions? Yeah? We won't talk about the, you've got the right risk, so I was pleased to see that. But what I was curious about is how could you use this as an engagement mechanism for that population to get them thinking and actually potentially stress testing your data to see whether, because you know, there's lots of challenges around the kind of quality of information you're going to get and actually, frankly, making sure you understand, you get the right messages out of it and not interpret it based on your 2021 understanding of what's going on in those populations. Our main thing was that we did understand that kids are always changing and that the population may not sometimes be truthful as to what is going on, but by implementing it into like their lessons, and for example, in the beginning they have a good discussion about what's going on, and then 15 minutes to do the survey, and then maybe another 15 minutes on teaching, and then that continuously happening every single term, I feel like that will make them more relaxed in answering the questions actually, and the repetitive exposure to answering questions on what's going on currently in their lives that is affecting like their health or affecting like that social interactions would be helpful because it's rapid and because it's always changing. We are always open to like changing things. And I also think that teachers and other stakeholders do see that there's something going on. They may not know exactly what's going on, but they are able to like push the kids in the right direction because they have the most exposure to them. And, and so just to emphasize that's why we've got them in the process, the teachers and they, and we've also discussed having kids in, themselves in that in that design process um, so that it's always being designed around them what they what, the what's local, going on right now. The local community. So coming into consideration on the local community, the local <coughs> GP and the, the teacher school and the, and the parents also involved. Great. Thank you.